Hi, I'm Barry. We've now put a mist coat on our ceiling. We've rubbed it down. We've applied some filler. We've rubbed that down. And then we've touched up with our little mini roller. So it's now time to put our second coat on. We've still isolated the supply, the electric. So that's switched off at the mains. We've still got the masking tape around it. They're all protected. So now what we're gonna do is cut, cut it all in and then roll it afterwards, okay? Don't forget when you're working on access equipment that you read the manufacturer's instructions, okay, before you actually use it. So I'll click that down, it's nice and safe. One of the things with using access equipment as well is overstretching. Let's not do that either. Okay, right, let's get this cut in. Again, just make sure we don't get any sort of like thick edges on this, this ridge here. If you do, just get the excess off your brush and just give them a wipe across. Okay. Any splashes on the walls, just like this one. Again, remember, edge of your brush. And you'll see it through the final coat. Brush it on, doesn't matter how you brush it on. Okay, and then again, the filaments on this brush give a fantastic finish. Okay, so you brush it on any way you want. Take the excess out of the brush, as we've mentioned before, gently just with the tips. And that will eliminate all of the brush marks. And then I just fill my little corners in again just to make it easy when we're rolling. We're going to roll right up to that. It just makes it a little bit, a little bit forgiving, give it a bit more easier to get into the corners. Now that the cutting in's done, it's time to roll our second coat on the ceiling. So we've got our roller arm. If you remember, we gently pulled the bars out to stop the roller sleeve pulling off. We've rinsed it under the tap just to dampen it, just so it picks up the paint a little bit better. Okay, so we'll push that on. We've got our roller pole, that's just locked securely into place. And then we've got our scuttle with all our paint in. And this time we don't have to thin it down, just paint straight out of the container. So this is again how we remember we loaded it up. So we just dip it in, roll it across the top. Again, you should be, getting, should be getting pretty good at this now. Okay, and we're gonna be working away from the natural light. Okay. And again, this systematic approach that we get in painting and decorating. Okay, we're not just gonna do little bits all over the ceiling. So I'm gonna start up here. All right, plenty of paint on. Okay, a nice, good coat on. There we go. Again. Okay, so roll it on. You need to go quite close to your cutting in, around about 10 mil. Okay, that's the standard that we're looking for. And again, I'm not putting hardly, hardly any pressure on this roller whatsoever. So I'm going over it and then just sort of laying it off. No pressure on it whatsoever. When we put our first coat of paint on bare plastic, it's very, very easy to see if we've missed anything. The difficulty then becomes is when we put our second coat on, and again, then it becomes difficult if we see if there's any misses. Okay. So what we do is we generally work away from the natural light. So wet paint is reflective and you can see the shine on it. And if it's dry, then there'll be no reflection. So again, you can see there's a mist up there. So you just ro roll over it. I've created a mist. 